Any machinist knows that as you write more programs and create more parts on your CNC machine, that you start to figure out what works and what doesn't for a specific feature, material, or application. The information for these custom strategies is rarely recorded. And typically, if a machine operator leaves the company, that information leaves with them as well. Fortunately for us, SOLIDWORKS CAM has a technology database in the background where we can store a lot of that information about those machining strategies that would otherwise be lost. When I create new machining features with SOLIDWORKS CAM, I can select a strategy out of my technology database, and there are a couple that come stock with the program. In this case, a roughing and finishing pass. When I generate my operation plan, the toolpath, and I take a look at that toolpath, it'll come through with the tools based on that strategy, but it's a stock strategy, so it's going to miss my chamfer or anything else that wasn't explicitly changed in those operations. What I'm able to do is create my own custom strategy and save that into the technology database. To do this, I'll start off with a similar two and a half axis feature, just like I did on the first one. Then I'm gonna select the strategy that I wanna start off with. In this case, I'll use that same rough and finish strategy from before. I will then generate my operation plan. So I have my rough mill and my contour mill, then create an additional contour mill, selecting my countersink tool, associating it to that corner slot feature. And when I create this operation, I can turn on my chamfer machining, put in my value for that chamfer and accept that. So that's gonna add in my chamfer. From here, I'll go ahead and edit my rough mill operation, set it to a volume mill, and we can start to change some of the settings here. Additionally, I can change my feeds and speeds to be defined by the operation and take my volume mill and we're gonna go really aggressive on this cut. So now when I generate those tool paths and I simulate my tool paths, we should hopefully see a difference here. That first one goes through just a rough and a contour mill. My volume mill comes in, cleans up a lot, and then we finish off with that chamfer. So that's nice, but if I go back here, it's still saying that same rough and finish. All I need to do is save my operation plan I'm going to create a new strategy here and we'll call this something like volume mill chamfer. So now I can save this to my database. With that strategy saved in my technology database, now if I go and try to create two and a half axis machining operations, I can select my volume mill chamfer out of my strategy list and when I generate my operation plan, that toolpath, and we simulate our toolpath, we'll see that it's gonna come in with the volume mill. It will then do that second contour mill operation and then clean up my chamfer here. So the things that I'm customizing in the operation parameters, adding in additional operations are going to be retained with my custom strategy that now I can use and anybody else I share my technology database with we're gonna have the same strategies to utilize when we're creating our machining operations.